To begin, I'd like to acknowledge that I'm on the traditional lands of the Comox people, and I am grateful for their stewardship of these lands. Now comments in J. Very simple, especially one-liners. NB period signifies the start of a comment. Uh, anything to the right is ignored, so you can put anything in you want as a comment. Anything to the left is executable, so this would be executable. Um, very simple for uh, working in the terminal, but that's not usually where you end up using comments. Usually you end up using comments is over here in the editor where you're creating the scripts. And it becomes something, they give you a bit of extra functionality. So for instance, I see these two first lines here. I want to make them into comments. What I can do is I can select both of them, and then I can go over here when I'm in the edit menu, then I can go to Selection, and I can toggle Comment On. And immediately, now they're both comments. Additionally, I can use Shift-Command-L to put a line above, and Shift-Command-L to put a line below, and I've got things kind of pretty. So that's kind of a nice thing to do, too. Uh, what else can I do with comments here? Well. Here I've got two verbs. They both do the same thing. They're both named the same thing. This is a tacit one-liner, and this does the same thing, and it's an explicit uh, verb. What it's going to do, well, we can do it step by step, but uh, let's first just execute this, and we'll see what it, what it does. There, it gives us two numbers. Well, what do the two numbers do? Well, let's take a look at this. I could put comments here on each line. Um, but for this, for my purposes right now, I'm just going to debug it. I'm going to use the debugging to try and figure this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these last two lines here, and I'm going to comment them out. Now when I load this, I've got the same uh, verb there, except that all it does now is it just does the first line. And it's going to, after that, this uh, parentheses, it's just going to send this value out to me. So what happens if I run this again? It gives me 9 and 56. Well, looking at the script over here, I see that it's giving me the greater of the x and the y. Well, on the x side here, I've got 9 and 6. And on the y side, I've got 4 and 56. So it's giving me the greater of 9 and 4, which is 9, and then the greater of 6 and 56, which is 56. Makes sense. Um, I'll take it the next step. I can toggle this one off and load again. And this time I'm going to do two sentences before I ditch out. And now it gives me four and six. Well, over here I see what it's going to be doing is it's giving me the lesser of the two. So it's giving me the lesser of nine and four, which is four, the lesser of six and 56, which is six. And then when I finally get over here, I can comment this out again comment this out again. <laughs> I went and loaded it. Now I'm going to load it. Um, command L, by the way, when you're in a, uh, the editing area, Command L will load it and then you've got access to actually running the, the scripts that you've got here. Uh, so, and then I back over to here, hit return, and I'm back to where I was. I've loaded the whole thing. Now, the other thing I can do here is what's happening here is I've got this one verb that's uh, tacit, one line, and no variables, it's all, it's, uh, what do they call it, point-free? Um, and uh, here, this is explicit, so it's using variables. A little bit easier to understand for some people. This is, uh, a lot of people think this is more elegant. But in any case, right now, the small divides big. I can see what it's actually working on. And I can do this just by naming the verb, hitting return, and it'll actually return the verb for me. So. And I can see that that's the verb I get. Um, that's this one I'm working with, but I'd like to work with this one. Well, what I can do is I can highlight the whole thing, command slash, and I can comment them out. So same thing I was doing except I'm taking the whole verb out. I'm going to show another way I can do this. At the same time I've got this all highlighted, if I go back over here to Edit and Selection, I can also toggle a note. And a note is something that just makes this whole verb into a con comment. It's no longer a verb, it's a comment now. It's, it's a noun, it's not going anywhere. Um, so I've just sort of isolated it and made it into a note. 
Um, I can, in these uh, quote marks, I can put any information I want. Uh, take it out. Oops. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have done that when it was highlighted. Let's try that again. There we go. So I can put any notes I want to myself in there. Um, they don't do anything, but uh, it's just taking that whole declaration of that verb. It's no longer a verb. Uh, now when I load, I'm going to get this, same as before, but this time when I go to find out what verb I'm working with, I'm working with this, and it's because I have taken this whole section out, and the only thing that gets recorded as, as uh, small divides big is this tacit verb. So that's comments and multi-line comments because you can use notes for multi-line comments or just highlight all the stuff that you want as a comment and use command slash when you're using the JQT environment if you are in fact in the edit when you go into the terminal mode you go into edit and there's no selection anymore but that kind of makes sense because you really want it when you're in in the edit mode and when you're in edit mode that's when you get the selection you can do all this tricky stuff Hope that helps. See you later.